get back on this uh, Social Security bill in the 22nd of uh, June, and uh, I'm going to wind it up that week where uh, we can have it reported, whatever it is, and uh, ready for our action, perhaps even before the uh, Republican convention, we can decide on that, whether we take it up before or after. But we can get, we can wrap, uh, we've got most of our language written so that there won't be a long delay by the time we make our final decision. If you do that, that'll do more for us this year than any other single thing that we'll do except your tax bill, and that's already behind us. But uh, it'll be the most positive, affirmative, uh, future thing that we'll have. Yeah, yeah. Now, let me ask you this to get your judgment on it. I'd rank it number one. If we pass, if, uh, if I can't get something that I can get more than 13 votes on, I, I told you in the beginning, and I thought you and I both felt that it ought to get more than that. Todd, what percentage do you want 13 out of 15? That's 90%, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean 13 out of 25. Oh, no, no, no. Well, you don't expect to get Republicans. They're going to be against any proposal I make, all of them against poverty, every single one. But they're not always against Social Security. I've got them in a bind if they vote against the vote next bill. They won't always be against the other either if you ever give them a taste of it. I'll tell you this. They, they all vote against Social Security when we enacted it, when I started. But they won't do it if you give them a taste of it. No, I know that. They all want to be for these cash benefits, you see. Mm -hmm. They increase the cash benefits. And that's going to, that too is very helpful. The Secretary said yesterday in the committee before we quit, and what we're talking about there is the last, this three prong approach he calls it, uh, which would have some hospitalization connected with Social Security, this case benefit increase plus improvements to the per mill. Uh, I'd be for all three of those if you could put that fourth one in on it. If 13, if you didn't, I'd wait till I could get them all together. Because I think if you don't, why, well, you just murder the other one, and I think the other one's what's got sex appeal. Yeah, now, uh, if we didn't put it in, what could the Senate put it in? I don't think so. I yeah. think it, uh, I don't, I doubt they'd ever even take it up. I imagine if you don't get that out till July the 1st, I'll have to get them back here between conventions to handle it. And uh, I just, I would do that if you had it, because I think it's the best thing that we can have for 50 states, and I've been in a good many of them, and I'm going to a bunch more this weekend. When I get back next week from California, I will have been in states that have 100 million population in the first six months of this year, like yesterday in Massachusetts, like the day before in Pennsylvania. And uh, when, I, when I get through with Michigan and California, I've already been to Michigan and California too, when I get through with them, this last round I'll have 100 million. My judgment is that is by far the most popular thing that we've ever touched and will do us more good than all the other put together. And I put taxes, civil rights, poverty, education bills, all of which we will have passed. I don't think they're in this one's comparison. You know what President Roosevelt said? You don't get any mileage politically out of taxes. Well, I think we are because we're having prosperity.